hello everyone welcome to my channel let's solve this question together look at what you are given we are going to ask the power of 3 plus 5x plus 18 equals to 0 we are asked to find the value of x now this question is as simple as a b c d now our first thing what we're going to do is to concentrate on what this 5x do you know that there's no way we can solve this if we don't find a way to factorize this factorize this 5x how do i mean by factorize look at what you're going to do you know that we are not wrong if we decide to write 5x as let me say s to the power of 3 okay plus sorry i can write it as minus what minus 4x okay plus what 9x okay now consider here we have 5x but here i'm having minus 4x plus 9x we know that 9 minus 4 will give us what 5x because minus 4x plus 5 minus 4x plus 9x is 5x then plus what 18 all this equals to what zero can you see how simple interesting it is my dear there's nothing change okay just that we're looking for a way to attend to this problem if we don't do this we cannot attend to this problem okay minus 4s plus 9x is 5s there's nothing change but why are we doing this we are doing this so that we can solve this problem that's the reason why we are doing this i know some people say ask us why are you writing 5s as minus 4s plus 9x some people will ask and i know the reason why we are doing so is because we are looking for a way to solve this question okay now for left hand side what is common we can see that we have having s to the power of 3 and minus 4 s here right s is common we can bring out s s is common into s to the power of 3 divided by x it give us s square okay then minus 4 s divided by s will give us what minus 4 okay we'll close the parenthesis now for our right hand side we have having 9s and 18 what is common plus 9 is common why is it that 9 is common 9 is common because 9 can go into 9 with and 9 can also go into 18 with remainder. Then into 9 s divided by 9 will give us what x. And 18 divided by 9 will give us what plus what 2. All this equals to what 0. Wow. I know some people watching this video say, I said But why is it that this and this are not the same? Because you always say in your video that what, what is inside the parenthesis must be equal to what is also in this parenthesis. My dear, this is not quadratic equation. Okay, take note. This is not quadratic equation. <laughs> I have to take note, okay? But we are not done. We, are, we can still do something. Here, we are s to the power of 2. You can see that we are seeing difference of 2 square area. You can see that this is what? x into s to the power of what? 2 minus 2 raised to the power of 2 is t4. Okay? Then plus what? 9 into x plus what? Plus 2. All this equals to what? 0. Wow. This is amazing, my dear. Now, this is difference of 2 square, right? You can now see that this is x into x plus 2 okay into x minus 2 because it's what difference of what 2 square then plus what 9 into x plus what 2 all this equals to what 0 wow this is amazing now let's look at this question very clearly we can see that something is common what is common we have x plus 2 here we also have x plus 2 so x plus 2 is common so we can bring out that x plus 2 is common okay then we'll close the parenthesis then into this x into s plus 2 multiplied by s minus 2 divided by s plus 2. This will cancel out this. We will leave with what? x into x plus what? Plus 2. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If this, if s into s plus 2 into s minus 2 divided by this, this will cancel out this. We will leave with what? x into x minus what? 2. This is amazing. Now, if 9 into s, if 9 into s plus 2 divided by s plus 2, but that this is what plus what nine all this equals to what zero now let's obey the the terms or the ends that tends to quadratic equation remember when the product of two terms is equal to look at when the product of two terms is equal to zero it means that you can see that you can see that both of them are equal to zero or each of them must be equal to zero that means x plus two is equal to zero or s times f gives us s square so you're having your s square and s times minus 12 minus what minus 2x plus what 9 all this equals to what 0 now this is a linear equation and this is a quadratic equation so from here our s by subtracting 2 from both sides that means s will be equal to 0 minus what 2 that means s will be equal to what minus what 2 this is one of the value of x that satisfy this equation if you substitute this 2 here you know that minus 2 is the power of 3 is minus 8 okay then 5 times 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. Minus 8 minus 10. Minus 8 minus 10 equals minus 18. Minus 18 plus 8, 18 is 0. This is correct. This is one of the value of s. What about this? 
we can we can do this let's use quadratic formula to solve it not almighty formula most of you guys are say almighty formula no this is what remember that quadratic equation have four ways of solving one factorization method two uh community the square then four uh formula method not almighty formula then remember that one is factorization method two is complete the square okay three is what formula method why the last one which is four is what graphical method of science okay not almighty formula not almighty it's only god that's almighty it's just quadratic formula okay by the definition of quadratic equation we know that 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 and uh, y is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of what b square okay minus 4ac okay divided by what 2a this is what quadratic formula not almighty formula please take note this is quadratic what formula then for our question our a is what since the equation x square here is one so our a is equals to what our a is one comma our b is what our b is minus two and our c is what our c is nine wow what you have to do is just to substitute this in this formula and solve okay now since here is s we can use here as x because you are looking for x so our x will be equals to now this is minus so having this is minus into b is what minus two okay plus minus the square root of what is square root of into b square look at b square and b is, b is here b is minus two or what square minus four a a is what a is one c is what c is nine okay then divided by 2a which is 2 into what 1 wow this is amazing now we're going to see that our s will be equals to minus plus minus times minus is plus so having here is 2 plus minus the square root of what minus 2 is the power of 2 simply means minus 2 times minus 2 which is what which is 4 okay here is 4 okay then minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 minus 4 times 9 is minus 36 so here is what minus what 36 divided by what divided by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 that means s will be equals to 2 plus minus the square root of what now 4 minus 4 minus 36 will be what minus 32 so here is what minus what 32 divided by what divided by what 2 that means s will be equals to now this interesting thing we're going to do do you know that square root of minus 2 cannot give us a real value okay so what are we going to do remember that square root of minus 1 is equal to complex unit okay now look at what we're going to do here that means we can write this as what 2 plus minus the square root of what minus 1 okay multiplied by root, uh, root what 32 okay this is the same thing okay divided by what 2 that means that means our s will be equals to 2 plus minus remember the square root of 1 is what is equals to a complex unit okay take note then root what root remember we can do something here we know that 16 times 2 is what 32 16 times 2 equals 32 because this is sort, right? Remember, I saw working one perfect square and one irrational number. Okay? Divided by what? Divided by 2. That means S will be equals to 2 plus minus complex units. Okay? Now, what is square root of 16? What is square root of 16? Give us what? 4. Okay? Then, root what? Root 2. Divided by what? 2. That means S will be equals to 2 plus minus 4 multiplied by this. Give us 4 multiplied by irrational units. Root what? Root 2. Okay? Divided by what? 2. That means our s will be s will be equals to two plus four multiplied by complex unit you two divided by what two or our s will be equals to two minus four multiplied by complex unit with what two divided by what divided by two. Let's simplify this. Consider our s will be equals to two divided by two is one. So having yes one four divided by two give us what plus what two multiplied by complex unit root what two. This is the second value of x. And this is the first value of x. Okay. Then from here, our x will be equals to 2 divided by 2 give us 1. Minus 4 divided by 2 give us minus 2. Multiply a complex unit root what? 2. Okay. Then this is your second word. Sec third word. Third value of x. You can see that since this is x to the power of 3, we have three, the three value of x. This is the first value of x. This is the second value of x. And this is the third value of x. Can you see how simple and interesting it is? So please, if you find it very interesting, don't hesitate. Do well to like, comment, and share it with your loved ones. Please, if you're not subscribed, consider to subscribe to this channel so that anytime you're exciting video, you'll be notified. So thank you so much and God bless you.